Good afternoon to everyone. I'm Jim Hudson, representing Chongqing Medical University. Today, I will present our insights on the onboard case related long non coding RNA signature in cervical cancer and their potential in predicting prognosis. A special thanks to our organizers for hosting us here. Cervical cancer, abbreviated as CC, stands as a critical health challenge, particularly due to the increased risk of distal metastasis in its advanced stages. Our research zeroes in on known case a unique type of cell death observed when cells detached from their matrix. We believe that a different understanding of a known case could shed light on disease progression and lead to improved therapeutic strategies. Cervical cancer remains a leading health challenge for women worldwide, ranking as the fourth leading cause of female cancer deaths, with 342,000 fatalities in 2020. The disease primarily manifests as human cell carcinoma and adenal carcinoma. Key preventative steps include the pap smear test, which identifies early cervical changes, and the HPV vaccine targeting the virus behind most SNC cases. While early stage CC boosts a five year survival rate of 91.5%, the last stages face the prognosis, tubular recurrence, and metastasis, underscoring the need for robust prevention and research. The known case is interesting as an anti-regular cell migration. For the cell deaths, when cells detach from their matrix, while a known case typically prevents tumor migration, some tumors resist it, signaling possible metastasis. The goal of Voyages in CC remains on the research. Our team has developed a Voyages related prognosis model CC, leveraging non number encoding RNA. We are exploring its link with the real responses and chemotherapy aiming for better prognosis prediction and treatment. We utilize the TCGA database for an extensive non non coding RNA analysis. He alone case related non non coding RNAs, abbreviated as ARLS, or CC will identify using the GSEA method. Prognosis related ARL moniker subtypes will define for targeted treatment. We crafted a risk model in the last report, evaluated immune cell activities and the TMB, and created a user friendly nomogram for precise. CC outcome predictions. Our primary data was uh, our data credit and the clinical information for CESC from the STEAM TCGA access to the GDC API. Additionally, we incorporated single nucleotide variants from mutactive 
we transform the expression matrix to log2 format. After converting and using sandbox, we return 291 significant samples. Our annotation were from gene code, and we source the ARGS from gene cards. Our team was presented by ERLS and understanding molecules of types. We used GSE algorithm for ARGS for calculation to capture ARGS expression profiles. ARL identification used the Oracle function on the HMS package. We strict cash flows. Prognostic ARL screening uses univariate cost models, setting a strict p value trash and 0.0 by. For monitors of type identification, we analyze TC, GAC, SC subjects based on Wilkinson methodology. Ensuring accurate monitoring subtype categorization. We employed MSI GTB for homework gene sets. We used the GSV every biological passwords. We reference essential vigor for oncogenic password signatures through GSVA. SMB processing was done with gene model analysis to get new type 2. In mutation mapping, genes with greater nursery mutation frequencies were screened. Using math tools, these offer exact mutation gene variation related to ARLS. We divided the TCGA-CESC samples into training and test cases using natural and multivariate proxology training sets. We pinpointed ARLS impacting prognosis. And the APR score, a combination of ARL expression levels and a normalized COPS coefficient. Everything assessing prognostic outcomes for each TCGA patient. We studied the APR scores by location and its prognosis relation across subtypes using Kepler Meyer and ROC curves. Of model analysis, we applied to TCGA CESC data. And we explored possible differences in APRs groups based on specific criteria. In our tumor microenvironmental study, we analyzed 22 immune cell types in TME with cyber short. And ten types with NCP count, relating them to APR score. We investigated 47 gene classes from Dynamo Checkpoint Dynamics, constructed a normal worm predicting one, three, and five year survival based on APR score. Validated with curves and ROC. Given the time score among HR score groups and the IC50 drug values with prophetic package, we identified three cervical cancer subtypes AC1, 2, and 3 from the TCGACESC dataset. AC3 has unique characteristics and prognosis. In 
familiar sales scores and checkpoint gene expression in the tumor environment are crucial. We developed a 7 ARL prognostic model. APR score is a reliable predictor for cervical cancer. Our nomogram is in clinical decision making. And ARL associated signatures paved the way for the future treatments. We sourced 14,000 and 176 non-coding RAs from gene code and computed ARG scores. 574 ARL meet our criteria. The Cox model identified 77 prognosis related ARLs referred to IGRA A. And correlation and expression details are in figure 1B and 1C. We match ARG scores with TCG CESC data. And then AC3 showed high risk. And AC1 had protective factors in figure 2. In figure 3, patient were clustered into AC1, 2, and 3. In figure 3D, AC1 predicts best, AC3 the poorest outcomes. And the fee in figure 3E, AC3 also had the highest mortality. Let's delve deeper. Analyzing TME features in subtype 1 AC123, we studied the link between HRG scores and cerebral cancer TME. Using CyberSword, AC3 reviewed distinct immune cell infiltration patterns. Details can be seen in Figure 4A. And in Figure 4B, AC3's high angiogenesis score indicates worse prognosis. 17 dominant immune checkpoint genes in AC3 are highlighted in Figure 4C. In conclusion, elevated ARG scores in CC's TMP reveal an immunosuppressive trend and a relationship with tumor progression. Our main focus is that we aim to understand ERG scores influence on cervical cancer's TME. AC3 displays significant angiogenesis impact on tumors. Immune checkpoint genes in AC3 suggest an immunosuppressive TME. AC3 has higher gene mutation rates with critical mutations identified. Pathway analysis of AC3 highlighted active pathways such as RAS, TGF beta, and more. This clarifies AC3's higher metastasis risk. Moving to our risk model, our goal was to build an ERL based prognostic model for TCGA CESC patients. Using the 
larger box model. We pinpointed seven key ARLs, including ACO 92614.1 and AL 15807.3. With our derived score, higher APR scores indicated for survival. Our model's precision ranges from 0.73 to 0.91 for one to five year survival predictions. To conclude, the APR score stands out as a trustworthy measure for predicting cervical cancer patient survival. We explore the APR scores relation to clinical traits. Our key finding is that the peak APR score in AC3 implies worse prognosis, with the ARL shift visible in Figure 7B and in Figure 7C to E. It shows higher APR scores correlate with worse survival, consistent across different clinical groups. In TCGA-CESC, distinct risk differences between N and M stages were seen, with many metastatic patients had having high APR scores. Details can be seen in supplementary figure S2. Let's focus on APR scores and importance. The APR score combined with the stage predicts cervical cancer outcomes, which can be seen in figure A and A B. And in figure C, we created a normal graph predicting overall survival rate in cervical cancer. It will reliably estimate one three and five year old estimate. Transition. See in figure A D. A D B and A G shows that the combined predictive power of a normal graph and the APR score is still in estimating or accurate. Discussing the lowercase significance. The lowercase acts as a defense against harmful disorders. It's essential a normal growth process. Tumor cell migration is linked to an orchestra resistance affecting metastasis. Our goal is to identify subtypes based on non protein RNAs linked to an orchestra and to understand their prognosis and the interaction with the immune responses. From our key findings, cases three patients with a high ARG and angiogenesis scores show a vital connection between anointings and tumor groups. APR score predicts outcomes. Higher scores suggest chemotherapy over immunotherapy. Our ARL based risk model highlighting MIR 100HG and APT 2A1 AS1 has implications across virus cancers. In conclusion, noise resistance is associated with tumor growth. 
The EPR score provides diagnostic clarity. Our research, particularly on MIR100HG and ATP2A1-AS1, is relevant across multiple cancers. Of course, we will continue our study on the seven ARLs growth in cervical cancer. Thank you.